The Staffordshire town of Burton-on-Trent is known as one of the brewing capitals of the world. So it was a major blow when its brewing museum was forced to close down around 18 months ago. Ah, but good news now. You see, if you wait long enough on Midland Stay, you get some good news. Yeah, the museum is to reopen. It's hoped it'll become an <laughs> international tourist attraction. Here's Bob Hockenholm. Mothball since June 2008, a museum that no one's been able to visit. Burton-on-Trent's top tourist attraction closed as visitor numbers fell from 112,000 a year to just 15,000. But now a company specialising in tourism is to take it over and reopen it as the National Brewery Centre. This place represents the heritage of brewing, not just in Burton and Trent, but brewing in general across the world. And we will be reflecting that and hopefully marketing uh, the whole site to uh, the region nationally and internationally. It's been well documented that it's been a tough year for brewing, with up to 50 pubs a week closing. Opening up this place again will give the industry a much needed boost and create 50 new jobs in the town. Brewing is in Burton's blood. There were once 26 breweries here employing nearly 20,000. More than 2,000 still work in the industry and residents are delighted to get their museum back. Be brilliant for the town to have it back open again. And, uh good for everybody as long as everybody comes down and supports it. I mean I was I was actually at my wedding reception there you know and uh, I thought it was devastating when I thought it was going to shut down I thought you know such a shame because I mean everything about Burton really is to do with brewing. The new attraction will feature live actors, interactive displays, a restaurant and the previous museum's star attraction the Shire Horses will be back. It could be open by Easter and beer lovers everywhere are being encouraged to raise a glass in celebration. Bob Hockenall, BBC Midlands Today, Staffordshire.